Welcome to Custom Animations presentation on the Hierarchy of Controls. The Hierarchy of Controls provides us with a systematic approach to reducing the risk of workplace hazards. It lists control groups, starting with the most effective and descending to the least effective. Whenever faced with a hazard, we must always begin by trying to eliminate the hazard outright. An example would be to eliminate extension cords by using battery power tools. The following most effective control is substitution. We do this by exchanging something hazardous with something less hazardous. For example, replacing a solvent-based substance with a water-based product. The following most effective control down the list is isolation. We do this by separating personnel from the hazard. Examples of this are the use of protective screens, or creating distance between personnel and hazards, or conducting hazardous tasks after hours, such as cleaning. The following most effective control is engineering. E examples of this are machine guards, ventilation system, and smoke or gas detection devices. Next on the hierarchy of controls is administrative controls. This includes safe work procedures, risk assessments, policies, training programs, qualifications, demarcation, and signage. Appearing last on the hierarchy of controls is personal protective equipment or PPE. PPE can only lower the harmful effects of the exposure to hazards without contributing to the elimination of the hazards. Therefore, PPE should always be used in conjunction with other more effective controls. If you have any concerns or questions, be sure to ask your supervisor.